Hi, it's Tom here again, and uh, we're back in the tent. Um, I'm just getting ready to do some more paint today, so I'm going to show you guys how I spray these, which is, this is the last rim out of the previous video, the shop update video I did. Uh, before the internet biohazard police come knocking at my door, I'm just going to say that my shop is close to the public, it's close to my house, um, and it's only me here and my direct family, nobody else ever comes in here. So I'm quite safe from the COVID police. And uh, this is just going to be to show you my paint process. I'm going to be using the gun that I use for Nerf, so you can kind of see how I do it. Uh, if any of you see me breaking health and safety type guidelines, that's because I'm having to do it a little bit for the filming. So there may be occasions where I haven't got my mask on. And uh, you can see this is just a fairly rough paint job, so I don't have to use like a fully sealed booth and all that kind of stuff. So I thought it'd be a good thing to film. So we're going to get right into getting this. This is all prepped. It's been scuffed up. I've just got to clean the dust off. I've put on the back, uh, this is a rust encapsulating primer. So that's now ready, this back bit's now ready for a quick scuff and then I'll put high build on here and I'm going to put etch on the front because the middle part is still in bare metal. Right, time to get started. Now, there's a bit of background noise because my son's working in here too today. So I got here my mixing pot, I need a small mixing pot because I'm only using a small gun and I'm only smelling a small amount today. So what I've got here is I've got some etch primer and this is a like a 1K etch, but it comes with an activator thinner type stuff. So it's, it's, it's a halfway between a 2K and a 1K. The thinner, and it contains, the activator contains the phosphoric acid etch that actually etches into the metal. Now, the reason the camera's jiggling is because I'm stirring paint with my can stirrer. So there we go. Really scientific can stirring. And then just put some paint in there. Got to get the solids out. doesn't matter at this stage about everything being surgically clean. As you can see, this is the grubby part of the shop. So, just want to get the solids stirred up. And then a little bit of paint in the can. So then I need to take the uh, activated thinner and then just go put it in there one to one and I can just mix it up with a spoon like that and I'll finish mixing it because it's boring to watch I'll turn you guys off while I mix it okay I'm just going to chuck this in the gun now it's mixed see that's just about one pot full which is really good that's why I use it, because it's a good size, and put the lid back on so I don't lose anything. And then I'll probably chuck a little bit of thinner in there in a tick just to start it swelling out. Okay, so my gun is uh, about 30 psi at the other end and about 20 at the gun, between 20 and 25. You can up it if you don't get very good paint flow. I've set the gun up already, that's kind of boring. So I'm just going to get some etch on now. Obviously the rim is where here, up here, is where you're going to get the most contact with things. So I want to make sure I get a good hit on there. What I'll probably do is turn the tire flat in a minute. Okay, now we can work into here. So you kind of have to dance around. I need your wheels. There we go. We've got a good even coat of etch on. Just want to make sure I've gone inside every little nook and corner. Uh, a little shy in here. Then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and take this into the tent and I'll go and uh, blow dry it and once she's blow dried we'll get another coat on. Okay. 